Hello, in this video I'm going to go over the index of method built into arrays in ES5, JavaScript, and beyond. Uh, so the index of method is a method you can call on an array and it allows you to search for a particular element inside the array and this function will return with the first found index uh, in the array. So if it finds it at array index 3, then it's going to return 3. Uh, also, if it doesn't find uh, the element in the array, then it returns negative 1 as its result. So uh, before index of existed, let me show you an example of what we might do. Now, uh, just a note, I am using TypeScript, so uh, a lot of what you're going to see is a little on top of JavaScript. You're going to see some type annotations, uh, some uh, parameterized generic types, so that's like these T things. Don't worry about that. Uh, just worry about the fact that this is a function I've written that has a parameter called array and a parameter called search value. Um, and that will work fine in JavaScript without all this extra junk on the end of it. Uh, so, um, what this is going to do, you can see that it, we created a for loop and we're looping through the array. So we're going to start looking at every element in the array in sequence. And I'm checking, I'm saying, if the array at position i is equal to search value. So if the current value uh, where I'm looking in the array is equal to this thing I'm searching for, I'm going to actually return i. So by the return statement being here, that will return from this function, which means the for loop will be prematurely, um, will exit out of that. And so we stop the for loop and we exit out of the function with our answer, 0, 1, 2, whatever the index is. However, if we never enter this for loop, so if we never encounter the value we're searching for, we make it all the way to the end here and we'll return negative 1, like we're supposed to, right? We never found it, so we're going to return negative 1. So that is the generic behavior of the index of function, and this is how you could have implemented it yourself. Um, so if I were to say find index of, I passed in friends as my array, and I passed in Jack as the string, then at 0, 1, 2, there's Jack at index 3. So that would have returned that. Find index of friends, and I pass in Jim. We look for Jim, we make it all the way in, and we never find Jim, so that would return negative 1. Okay. So, without having to rewrite this every time, how do we use the built-in index of method? And it's actually really easy. So, for this one, I'm going to say let answer equal, um, and we'll say friends dot index of Jack, and uh, I'll console log the answer, and we'll keep going and run both of these at the same time. I'll say answer is equal to friends dot index of Jim. And we'll console log the answer again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, again, I'm using TypeScript. I have a custom build process set up, but this code is the code. It's going to work whether you're in the browser, Node.js, wherever. So our first answer here, our first console log, friends.index of Jack. Behind the scenes, it's running a loop and it's efficiently looking for Jack and it knows when to return. 0, 1, 2, 3. So it found it at position 3. And then I do it again with Jim, and we see that Jim does not exist in the array, so we return negative 1. And that's what's logging to the console. Uh, so, again, really useful um, for finding things like strings, numbers, and arrays. Uh, so that's how index of works. I hope you take advantage of it. 